What's up, Rockstar Diamonds? Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. To bless. We've got Black Diamond, Desi Leaf over. What's up, Des? Uh, it's actually a Triple Crown Elite Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, got triple crown intergalactic superstar commander in chief <laughs> diamond Desi Leap over. Exactly. <laughs> Jackie, so Jackie, who are you today? I am Jackie Fibbis today. <laughs> intergalactic blue. <laughs> How are you doing, Jackie? <laughs> Long time no see. I know, right? I, know, I, I am. You then. <laughs> Good morning. I, great. I am here in H Town. Let me tell y'all something. H Town will never be the same. I'm just here to. Yeah. You. I'm just here to tell you. <laughs> I was watching the news uh, before we started flight school. And they had an announcement and then the alert came up on my phone and it said, will Jackie Pippins, Jayla Pippins, Vita Wooten and Kia Kinlaw, please go home. Oh, and take Janice with you. (laughs) 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 B squared, Diamond, Brandon Burrell, what's happening, Mm -hmm. sir? Oh, nothing much, sir. Just happy to be here. So on a Saturday morning and the flight students can't be in a better place, right? So good to so good to see you on here and definitely appreciated our time, our time together that we spent on the phone while I was in the supermarket. <laughs> that should go down in history as one of the best combos ever. <laughs> All right. So you guys ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So diamonds, let us show the catalyst for this training. Hey, everybody, you want to know how the team is doing? If you, if you want to know how the team is doing, put some eights in the chat. Put some eights in the chat. All right. We got the eights. We got the eights. All right. So let's take a look at how we're doing. Okay. So here is our team rank up. And what I did is I changed the numbers so that we're looking at an interval. And diamonds, we're looking at September 1 through Today, September 1 through 16, okay? In that period of time, 6,977 contacts are in there. There's now close to 20,000 total, right? And 5,611 messages were sent. So way to go, guys. You you are reaching out to people to engage people uh, in the business. 2,532 of those messages got answered. So leaders, you want to get with your teams, you want to look at your rank up and see who needs help in this area, okay? That's 45%. We're really trying to get to at least 60%. We know that there are some things happening here. For example, if you're sending messages to people on Facebook or Instagram that you don't know, those those messages are not going right to the people, right? They're going in a, a folder where people don't see them right away. So we know that those those type of factors are happening. But that said, this is where it starts to get fun. So when people are talking, 67% are getting an invite. So we sent out 1,688 invitations to people saying, hey, watch a presentation, take a look, you know, come to come to the come to the event, whatever. And uh, we're doing pretty good there. 67%. We need to get that to 90, though. Okay, leaders, we need to get this up to 90. Um, Now, and I I also am recognizing that there's another factor happening there. The other factor is that the, what's bringing the numbers down are the the social media prospecting, right? Because you can't invite them right away. You got to kind of have a friendly conversation first, but here's where it gets really cool. Once the invite, when invites are made, they're getting accepted. You see this? 75%. So 1,688 people got invited to take a look. 
1,267 of those people said, yep, I'll do it. So that's a pretty good invite. Whatever you guys are saying is, is working, all right? Of the 1,267, 72%, 915 actually showed up to the Zoom or watched the video. That's actually very good, right? We can get that number higher, but that's very, very good. But this is where we put a red alert out and said, Diamonds, we need your help. Of the 915 people who watched the presentation or a video, only 73 plus 92, 165 in total converted, 73 of them as ambassadors, 92 as customers. The ambassador number should be 20%. So the ambassador number should get up to 915 times 0 0.2, 183, okay? And the customer number should be 40%, I believe. So that should be 915 times 0 0.4, 366. So what, where, do we, where do we need help, folks? Based on, based on rank up, where do we need to focus our energy in helping the team? Who can put it in the chat? Who can put it in the chat? Where do we need some help? We don't got yes. Yeah. Conversion. Yes. Conversion. Conversion. Oh, getting people started. All right. So that is why we have our diamonds on with us today. So diamonds, here's what we need you to do. You got, uh, uh, first of all, before we say that, uh, everybody watching, here's what we need you to do. Get a fresh page in your journal ready because you're about to learn from the best how to do it. These diamonds are ready. They came here with some practical suggestions to show you what to do, what to say, after a person has seen a presentation or watched a video. Diamonds, the floor is yours. Ladies first. <laughs> Good one, Brandon. The first thing that you always want to ask, and, and I, I, I don't know if Mrs. Jackie wanted to go on first, but what did you like best? All right, because, you know, either that or what got you excited. You don't ask, did you like it? You know, you never ask, this type of question because you're now opening up for negative comment, right? Because think of, you know, just remember always we're, um, uh, you know, the way our brains work, we're always going to think negative first before positive. That's just how we're programmed. Um, so the first thing that you want to ask your, your prospect is what did you like best? Don't text because some of you are going to text, you know, mm -hmm. please don't text, give them a call. Right. Uh, and by the way, you should have said, um, you know, um, I know this is not a, 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 you know, teachings on invitation and and follow up, but yeah, it's all part of it. That's all part of closing. Okay. Yes. Right. So if you have invited them to watch a presentation or a video or to be on a, you know, three way call with your with your, um, um, you know, leader or whoever you're working with, it doesn't even have to be a leader. It can be somebody that has a relatable story to them and that had success in the business. Um, you know, or, or the trading, whatever, whatever you're going after, you know, when it comes to that prospect, but if they watch the video, since you mentioned this, uh, T Gray and, 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 and I'll allow Mrs. Jackie and, um, um, Brandon to put their, um, uh, inputs here. The first main question you want to write this down is what did you like best or what got you excited? Because now they're going to think of, oh, I love that they said that I can gain my time freedom back. Oh, I love that I can have location freedom. Oh, I love that you can actually learn a new skill where I don't have to clock in and clock out anymore. And you don't talk, if, if you hear this, you don't want to talk about I go, right? Oh, but let me tell you about I go. Because <laughs> what you're doing right now, you're, you're going to unsell them, right? You want to talk about how this can impact their life because they just gave you, um, you know, a huge uh, tip. I love the fact that you can gain your time, location, financial freedom, and you can be in control of how much money you're going to get paid daily. 
Wait, so so I I want to I want to jump in there yeah. for a second and, and and highlight something that you said, but you didn't say it. Uh -huh. Desi, Desi just said something, but she didn't say it. But I want to see if you caught it. Okay, so she said, "Ask what did you like best," and then she said, "Zero in and talk about what they like." Like, don't talk about what you like. Talk about what they like. But that required a step in the middle. She said, ask them, what did you like best? What did you like most? Uh-oh, they got it. They got it. Then she said, zero in on what they like. So that required you to do what? It's in the chat. Listen. 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 That's the biggest step. So, so, so Black Diamond Desi, when people start talking about what they like instead of what the person like, that means you weren't listening. Yep. Back to you. Because um, when you learn how to listen and become a really good listener, you're going to be able to sell each and every person. Bob Proctor used to say that if you didn't close somebody it's because you didn't find out what they were looking for because you're focused on the product but not their needs. Remember, nobody wants to be sold, but everybody wants to be helped. And you have the solution for everybody's problem or a challenge. You know, we do. But you got you to gotta become really good at listening. So if you don't know how to do this, then what you got to do is leverage your upline. And you bring your upline on a three-way call. So the way you do it, like, for example, the way you do it, this is something that I'm doing right now with my, you know, some of the individuals, for example, that, for example, have built the business in the beginning and they were, you know, they, they stepped out, they were not building, they were incubating and now they're coming back into it. So I don't want them to talk to their individuals by themselves, right? Because what essentially you're doing again is it's unselling them by talking about I go instead of talking to them about, okay, so I can make this much money in 45 minutes, you know, because I mean, when people hear from Vita or uh, James, you know, testimonial or whoever, you know, on Profit Snatchers, you know, each and every Wednesday, they essentially can see themselves. Remember, like selling and closing, it's an art. What your job is to paint the picture for them and to get them emotionally involved on how this will look, you know, what this life will look for them a month, two, three, five months from now. I don't know. I don't know why I'm the only person talking about Mrs. Jackie. Do you have anything to say? I totally agree with you, Black Diamond, Desi. Um, everything that you said, you must ask them what did they like best. Don't ask them what you think about it, right? Because we really don't care what they think about it. You want to know what they like about it best. And Here's something that's very, very important. You want a mirror match. You want to, when you, the fortune is in the follow-up, right? The fortune is definitely in the follow-up. When you speaking to someone, for a great example, I had this gentleman that I've been trying to get in the business, right? He's a uh, former NFL player. And he kept telling me how busy he was. I get 40 texts a day. You know, I just don't have time. Maybe we can get together next month or whatever. Well, when Profit Snatchers, when Rod Smith came on Profit Snatcher and, and shared his testimony, which was amazing. If you guys have not shared that video, you are definitely missing it. And so I immediately sent him when Mark uh, broke that video down. I immediately sent it to him. I said, I need you to take about seven minutes and watch this. He watched that video immediately. Hey, can you get me on the phone with Rod Smith? Can you get me on the phone with Rod Smith? It immediately got his attention. If I would have did something else different, I wouldn't have got his attention. So you got to find, you got a mirror match with the person. Okay. So Here's, an, here's another great example. I am so red, right? I'm about the money. I'm going to tell you about the money. Boom. I'm going to get you in the business. But if I got a green, somebody's analytical, 
I'm not nine times out of 10, I'm not going to be the one close them. And if you put them with a person like Black Diamond Dassey, she don't have time to listen to all of those detailed information. You got to put them with somebody like a Brandon who is very detailed and analytical. So you have to match them up with the perfect person or else you're going to lose them. Okay. You're definitely going to use them. In that same day, when we closed the, my guy, when Rod Smith closed my guy, he immediately signed up what I need to do to sign up. That's the question that you're looking for, right? So that same day, another young lady I reached out to and um, her thing was, oh, I know Holton Bugs. I didn't know he started his company and you guys are doing trading. And what did I do? She was interested in trading. What did I do? Put him on the phone with Donnie Pierce, right? Seal the deal, done. Seal the deal, done, right? The next lady that I put in, like the next day, she was straight elevated. She straight wanted Forex trading. What did I do then? Put him on the phone with Donnie Pips, right? It was done. It was done. We're here in Houston. This was, this was good. This gentleman we met, bite him over. We did a one-on-one. Now, here's another thing. Everybody is not, don't want the, the videos. Some people, you got to meet them where they are, right? Some people want to hear it live. Mm -hmm. You know, some people need that, right? So I figured, I knew he was one of those type of people. So we did a live presentation in the, not a presentation, but we shared the vision, right? And I told stories. We did, we told the story. Vita told her story. Uh, Kia told her story. And so we explained to him, I said, it was two ways that you could sign up. You could be a customer and you could be a business partner. He wanted to know what was the difference. I said, well, here's, I want you to think about this. He loved Fasashi, right? So here's what I said. Okay, you love Fasashi. You go in the store and you buy Fasashi. You love him, right? He's like, yes. So I said, every time you go in that store, you're making Mr. Versace rich, okay? You're making him very rich. So you are a customer there. But Mr. Versace is the CEO. So I said, this company is set up the same way. Do you want to be a CEO? Or do you want to continue shopping in my store? He did not like when I said, do you want to continue to shop in my store? So he wanted his own store. So he is first class now. So again, you have to meet people where they are. I fill out the individual and I meet them where they are. So can I just say something real quick? Because everything you just shared, it was amazing. So if you're not experienced as Mrs. Jackie is, that's where your upline comes into place. And if you want to succeed fast, don't do it by yourself. OK, because I know some of you here on the line and, you know, I didn't ask uh, Mark and Tigre if I can be 100 percent or 99.8. <laughs> 100. Uh, but some of you allow your ego to come in between and you think you got it. And uh, that's why you're losing and that's why you're not seeing success. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I, I, that was me, too. And when I, when I allowed Darren to do what he was great at is when I started seeing massive success. And guess what? I'm back, back, you know, doing the exact same thing. It's not that I cannot close people myself, okay? Because I can close anybody. I mean, I signed people, like I signed my waiter on the spot. Like he didn't even know what he was getting himself into on the highest pack, you know, two weeks ago. So why am I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because at the end of the day, the way you bring them in the business is the way you're going to keep them in the business. And, and this business is all about duplication. So you want to show them right there on the, on the first step that they can do this. You know, uh, Tigre did a call with me and um, one of my guys, Patrick, you know, and he said, can you do this? Yes. Okay. So when they see, okay, so I don't, I'm not Mrs. Jackie. I'm not Desi, I'm not Brandon, but I can get somebody on the call that can do it for me, right? Because a lot of you on the line say, I don't, I can't sell. You're selling me right now on the fact that you can't sell me. 
We're selling 24 hours in a day. You're just not aware of it. And you just don't make money off of it, right? So how you do it? Well, if you sent, I love what Mrs. Jackie said, because it's very true. I, um, this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that this may not, you know, may not work for you. I barely sent recordings. I like this one-on-one. If I have to do a record, you know, a presentation for you, I'll do it. I don't do presentations, but I, we have back-to-back -back calls. So I'll make sure I put you on the live call because the energy is different and I can interact with you, right? So when I do bring you, if if I uh, teach my team, I will say, you know, okay, let's get good at the inviting. This is how you invite. Okay. Hey, Mrs. Jackie, how's it going? Great, Desi. Okay, awesome. Well, remember you were telling me that, you know, you you were you, you wanted to make an extra $2,000 a month. Is that correct? It's correct. It's correct. Okay. So today, my mentor, you know, the person that has helped thousands of people all over the world is hosting a private call at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. By the way, this is a closed private call. I had to qualify to be on this call. But if I ask him, right? Because he, this, this gentleman is very sharp. Like I said, he knows what he's talking about. He's helped me and, you know, thousands of people all over the world. If I ask him, you know, for permission to have you on the call as, you know, my guest, would you make it a priority? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. This is what I want you to know. Uh, he's very strict and, and you all know, I talk about Darren, right? <laughs> He, you know, if you're on this call, I will need you to have pen and paper. I will need you to have your screen shared and pay attention to what, what he's about to share, because I can guarantee you that if you take notes, if you, you know, pay attention to the information that he's sharing, your life will be changed just like mine. Is that okay? Yes. Awesome. So also, this is what I want to do. Since I'm already going to be talking, you know, to him about you, the call usually can be from 45 minutes to an hour. So if we start at three, let's say we're going to finish at four. I want to follow up with you or I want to, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to get on a call with you immediately after the call to see what you like best. What did you learn? And, and, and to see how I can add more value to you. I might be able to get even there and on the call, depending on his schedule, because, you know, he's helping a lot of people. Amazing. Five minutes. So yeah, Jesse, love about what you just did. You made Mr. Darren Gibson, you made them think that he was the president of the United States. And that's where a lot of people are going wrong. You did the edification. You did the proper edification. You made me want to be on the line with my pen and paper. And you're about to share something with me so significant that I really need to be on this call. So that was amazing. And that's where... Mark and Tigray, some people are missing it. They're missing the edification, a part, a part of it. And then she set it up to ban fan. Book a yes. meeting from a meeting. Yeah. You like it's not only about inviting. You don't you you like the goal is be intentional, right? If you have one day, if you have one hour a day to put into your business, it's not that you don't have the time for you to get paid. You're not intentional with your time, okay? So if you have this one hour, and, and because some of you are going to say, well, I can't be on the, on the call afterwards. Well, this is what I do, okay? There's a solution to it. I'm full-time, okay? So what you do, or maybe Mrs. Jackie is full-time or Brandon is full-time, what you do is you connect, you put your prospect and your upline in a three-way on a, a group text. And you do the exact same thing I just did through a text. Or you can send a voice message and, and be like, hey, so-and-so, this is my, uh, you know, this is this is my mentor, my business partner, you know, the person that's helping me create whatever, you know, whatever your vision is, you know, just so you know, you know, he will follow up with you immediately after. He already knows about you. He knows what your goals are. And he will show you how this can really add, you know, and, and, and or um, not add, but how this can really lead you to whatever the land of freedom or we can't use freedom no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way that's another thing don't use freedom okay i know that yeah. uh, so, so 
we can use financial stability. Yeah, to financial stability. I mean, the key thing is, you know, versus better than understanding what the words are, just understand the what's behind it, right? So when you say financial freedom, it's actually, it's an income claim because it leads people to think, you know, that that's what, what everybody gets. So what you want to do, you, you want to always learn to use the disclaimer as you speak, mm-hmm. right? So for example, you tell a story, hey, I, I earned this much, you know, trading. Disclaimer, I can't right. guarantee you. Disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not saying that this is what everybody makes, but everybody's results are different, but this is what I've learned to do. And I figure if I have learned to do it, other people can too. So learn to speak in disclaimer. That way you can, uh, you can keep yourself clean. But you guys are killing it with these. I'm taking crazy notes over here. And um, Brandon, we haven't heard from you. Uh, I'm letting the ladies kill it. They're killing it right now. But uh, a little bit of, you know, to me, it's, it's, uh, you know, closing is important. But I think it is, you know, opening is just as important, too, as well. So what I mean by that is, uh, you know, understanding your prospect, understanding their pain points. That's one of the things I focus on in the beginning. To me, if you don't open well, you're not going to close well. So you really, really, really need to focus on their pain points. And once I get those pain points, I know how to close you in the end. You know, and when we get to the end, when I get to the closing portion, I, I go quick. My thing is, I said, let's get you started right away. You know, because I know the paradigm creeps in and, People get, you know, the, the, the mind started playing with them at the end when it's time for them to pull the trigger to pay. And, um, you know, you just go right at it, you know, and um, that's that's what I focus on. But I'll, I'll tell everybody the pain points. Once I know the pain points, I know how to close you. So understand your your prospect, you know, understand what they're looking for, understand their goals, um, and you won't have no problem closing at the end. But I think a lot of people get scared at the end when they come Brandon. to for the money. Let's let's go over, and I believe Miss Jackie has those too. Like, um, maybe we gotta start people from um, from the very beginning on how do you approach and how do you talk to people? Yeah, because I, mean, I think that's I think that's right because what I just wrote down from what Brandon said is, and I want everybody to write this down: the key to closing is the opening. The opening. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to close well, open well. Take the time to understand your prospect and their pain points. And Brandon, before you guys go any further, can you under, can you just explain what pain points means? Um, like you know, if you have someone, you know, understanding what what they're what they're looking for. You know, if they if somebody that's looking for more time, freedom. You know, you may have people that's looking to make more money. People looking to leave their jobs. Uh, people, you know, I just got you know everybody's looking for something. So you just got to find out what it is. And once I find that out, I have it. It's easier. You, it's easier to maneuver, you know, around, you know, it's easier to move the person from step to step once they, once you uh, understand those pain points. Yeah, T, uh, uh, Diamond Tear said what they're frustrated about not having enough of. That right. is good. But um, what what I see often is people leading with hey i have a phenomenal opportunity you got to see about a boomerang we have travel and trade and what you're essentially doing is you're vomiting on your people when you don't even know if they're looking for an opportunity so each and every time i train my team i'm like just think about it if you walk you know if you walk um uh, you know in starbucks and you sell somebody right in front of you that had you know shoes or something that you liked Will you do the exact same thing that you just did? And the answer is hell no, right? So how about you give them a compliment? You know, you open up a conversation. You see, you know, I mean, and and how, you know, you can't, you can't vomit on them at, you know, at the very first moment you meet a person, you know, you got to connect with them, uh, relate to something. And Mrs. Jackie said something crucial as well. I share a lot of stories. I do too. Like Vita doesn't even know how many, you know, real estate agents I've enrolled and and she's made me money. She doesn't even know that, (laughs) you know, because we meet a lot of, and and I'm like, just watch this video. So say that again. So the first question when you do 
you know, if you're, if you're, if you're talking to a cold market, which is your warm market is what I've learned from Darren is, well, tell me a little bit about yourself. Remember, it's not about you. People don't care about you. They care about what's in it for them. They don't care what you've done, how much you've made. They don't care. They care about what's in it for me. How can it help me? Okay. So tell me a little bit about yourself and then you zip it. You want to write this down. Okay. And what you want to do once they finish, if you listen to what they were saying, you want to relay back to them. So if Mrs. Jackie was saying, you know, I was in corporate and, you know, I, I decided to fire my boss because, you know, this is, this is what happened. So I cannot relate to her story because I've never worked corporate. But guess what I'm going to do? I will say, I understand how you feel. I personally wasn't there, but I know somebody, her name is Marianne, who used to work in corporate. And, you know, she, she, she's done what she did. And, and she decided to go into the traditional route as well, Mr. Jackie. And it didn't work for her because, you know, she was still trading her time for money. She was still, you know, trying to sell people, you know, one time sell and done. And, and, and she, she didn't have the time freedom. She didn't have the financial freedom. So what is your goal, Mrs. Jackie? <laughs> Mrs. Jackie, what's your goal? Say that again. I would like to fire my boss. Fire your boss? Okay. So what needs to happen in order for you to fire your boss? I need to make more money. So how much would you like to make? I need at least 6K, six figures. S six figures? Is that a day, a week, a month, or a year? Um, to start off at least a year, six a year. Okay, good. How far are you from that right now? Well, on my job now, I'm already making six figures. And so in order for me to leave my job, I at least need to make that. Okay. Okay. I understand. Well, one of my mentors will say, you know, you've already achieved six figures, then that's no longer a goal because there's no stretch to it. But, you know, I understand we can work with that. Okay. So um, what have you required to change that? What, what, let's repeat that. What have you done so far to change it? Have you have done any action? Really change that. You don't? Okay. I'll, I would like to connect you with somebody that was in the same place, just like you. And this woman, uh, you know, I, I've been, I've had the pleasure to work with uh, now for about two years. Uh, you know, I actually, funny story, Mrs. Jackie. Um, uh, that is going to sound very weird. Actually, I met her on Facebook and she's all the way from Europe. She's done just exactly what you, you're doing right now. And, you know, she got sick and tired of being sick and tired. It sounds like you, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Awesome. So, um, you know, her schedule is very busy, but she's been working with me for two years and now she's one of the top income earners, top leaders here in the company. Um, you know, I would love to connect you with her so you can see how what we do here has changed the entire course of her life. Um, is that something that you would be interested into? Absolutely. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to schedule the call. How about tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern time? But I got to make sure that she's got the time because, you know, she's always very busy helping and impacting lives. That will work for me. Okay. Awesome. And then I will bring whoever I was talking about, and I'll let them do their job. But, you so, know, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, so you're absolutely right. So we did a presentation here in um, Houston. Mm -hmm. We're doing one today, again, today as well. But when we did one last Saturday, when we're doing our presentation, guys, we're sharing stories. I'm sharing story after story. So I'm going to relate to someone in that audience, you know? And when we finished, the, one of the ladies that was there, she said, you know what I love about what you just shared with me? I said, what did you like? She said, I know. when you share with me about giving back, and you know, that's our philosophy with our company is giving back. So I'm going to tune into that. Every time I present, I'm going to talk about giving back. 
I know I'm with the right company. Let me share with you how that work, how that has worked for me, right? And they love it, right? That just tore our heart apart. So you got to share different stories. Someone is going to relate to some story that you're telling, like Mr. T. Gray said earlier, story sell, facts tell, story sell. And that's what we do, right? We tell the story. You got to tell the story and relate to people. Like Ms. Desi said, they don't care that you made 100K or, you know, you did this, that. Again, they want to know what's in it for them. And I'm going to relate to somebody in that audience. Mm -hmm. And when you start relating to people, guess what? Everybody start raising their hand. What do I need to do? How can I get started? Real simple. Yeah. No, that's really good. Brandon? Oh, you know, you guys all said it all. I mean, you know, sharing stories, how important it is. I know you've been on this all day long, but, you know, yeah, unless you take story. action. I use Desi's story all the time. I use Darren's story. I use Ms. Jackie's story. The daughter, you guys don't even know, I'm using everybody's story. So, you know, that's the number one thing, understanding everybody's story, you know, because, you you know, like, like you guys said, it, it helps. You know, people like story, story sales. And just be a patient with the process. I think a lot of people try to rush, you know, try to like, uh, you know, being a desperate distributor, um, you know, trying to really force people and get it done quick. Be patient with the process. You know, sometimes, sometimes it takes a little bit longer with some people, you know, but, uh, you know, you just, just take your time and, and um, you know, and, um, and you won't have no problems with this, you know, closing. And don't be afraid. I think a lot of people are afraid at the end to ask for the money. To ask people to sign up. I know a lot of people in my can you can you just rewind to to don't be afraid and say that again. Don't be afraid, you know, to ask for the money. Because a lot of people are, you know, that's why they can't close. They're uncomfortable closing in the end when it comes to asking for the money. And um, a lot of my team members are like that. They they're terrified once it gets to that point. I'm like, you you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable because you know that's what wins at the end. Mm -hmm. So I like what you just said, because, um, at, you know, the ambassadors, for example, if they haven't had success as of yet, they're going off of their wallet. And essentially, why, why do I mean this is because you're afraid to ask for the money because maybe you just got started, you haven't made it happen yet, and you're essentially doing them a disservice by you not asking. And then when they ask you, well, which package did you get started on? You know, and let's say, for example, you say 250. And, you know, I, I, I don't recommend you doing that because, you know, you're not helping them because if they have the money, they're going to they're gonna move faster with the highest pack, right? Because at the end of the day, they're going to end up putting the same amount of work, but what they're going to get paid is what really matters, right? So would you would you like to get to your million in a month? Like if you had a month and 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 you had to pick or choose which pack, but you knew you're gonna make the million at the end, would you like to put double the work or you know one time the work? Because that's essentially what you know we have here. Because the highest pack gives you most advantage, right? So uh and and Maybe we should we should we should hit some objections that people are getting because I believe that that's the main challenge that most people have, and I believe that if you're new, you should not be um, handling those by yourself. Like I said, you know, remove your ego and let your upline help you create a win, so you can go out there and share that story, so you no longer are embarrassed that you haven't made any money yet. Because you know, I know that some of you are getting this objection well how much did you make you know for example i'm glad you asked well look i just got started but i have somebody to connect you with that has tripled the business as i do and they've been only in the business for the past three weeks and it doesn't have to mean that they have made thousands of dollars triple the business can be they only have three people three people in their business mm -hmm. <laughs> you know uh um so and then i will put mrs jackie on the call 
So let's just take a minute to review. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a minute to review because there's a lot of great stuff that was shared. Okay. So first and foremost, the key to closing is open. Right. So I want everybody to put in your notes, begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. Somebody drop that in the chat. Begin with the end in mind. So from the moment that you start this process, you want to be thinking about the end. I've spent some time this weekend with Blue Diamonds, Jackie and Jayla, with Vita, and with Kia. I can tell you right now that they begin with the end in mind. If you engage them in conversation, the whole process is, is designed to lead you down a path where you're going to see what you need to see so that you can get started. Okay, so begin with the end in mind. That's just a fancy way of what, saying what Brandon said, which was the key to closing is opening. If you want to close well, open well. So everybody, you want to think about your process. Think about your process. Okay. Now, another thing that Desi said is that you should have the follow-up set beforehand. So let's put that in the notes. Set the follow-up beforehand. Can I say something to yes. do that? Some of you are not urgent enough and it takes five minutes to follow up and everybody has five minutes because if you made it really important for them to be on the call, then you got to learn how to make it important that five minutes can change the course of their life because they're going to have the opportunity to be with somebody very at the top that can, you know, compress time for them. So because what you guys do, maybe I'm not saying everybody, you know, there's always exceptions to the rule, right? But like, you don't want to set the follow up for next week. Because now they're going to be cold. And now you're going to have to expose them again and now they're going to have all of the questions so usually people are fired up after presentations right because you know they're they're hot they're around the fire you know mrs jackie said with the good stories they they've already visualized how they will feel when they're making whatever you know um the pre the people have shared on the line with them or you know in person with them so it's going to be easier for you to close them versus allowing 24, 48, 72 hours, 72 hours now you're you almost lost them. Just like Brandon said, paradigm kicks in and we'll talk them out. We'll give them all of the excuses on why they cannot come back to another presentation, for example, right? Yeah. So that's, that's what I want to say. So, so that's why I like when you said, after the call, I can get you on the call with my mentor. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yep. So, so let's, let's just take our notes here. So schedule a follow-up when you invite and schedule it for immediate, right? Not two weeks out, <laughs> not a week or two out, like Desi said, not days or weeks later. Have, what was that you said? Urgency. Urgency. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. So we, we begin with the end in mind. Key to closing is opening well. Let's do this. Right? Uh, we, we schedule a follow-up when we invite. And then we ask after exposure, whether it's a Zoom or whatever, ask what did you like best or what got you excited and then was our big what's our big one after that everybody i'm gonna see it in the chat what's our big one ah see nina you dropped the gun it's that one there listen 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 because like Brandon said, they will tell you what they need. So Tigray, one thing about what Brandon said, he said a lot of people are scared to ask for the money. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna meet on with any prospect and I'm not gonna ask for the money. 
So if you're afraid to ask for the money, make sure you get your upline or someone on the line that will ask for the money. Because I'm definitely, that's my, I'm definitely going to ask for the money. Can I say something also, uh, to, uh, you know, in addition to that, because if you don't ask for, you, you, folks, you have to understand that they're going to be sold. Someone will sell them. It's just not you, you know, because they will buy, people buy into things. So why not then buy into your vision, into where you're going, into, you know, a boomerang uh, or their vision? So, um, yes, I love what Mrs. Jackie said. In order for you to build this confidence and, you know, you got to collect small wins and, 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 and it's not, it doesn't start with the big win because you can't probably see diamond yet, but this is how you get to diamond by having your upline on the line with you, you know, until you get your person started. And then when you do get them started, you get your upline on the line with you again to set up a game plan in place. Right. And and the step by step, what they need to do next, how they got to go to, you know, how they have to achieve brick and things of that nature, you, you know. And, and why am I saying this? Because um, um, some of you, you're just bringing people into your business. I just literally kind of like barked through a text to one of my leaders enrolling somebody and she didn't get that person started yesterday. I forgot. This is why you're not your business isn't anywhere because you're not urgent. You know, it's not only bringing your people in the business. Remember, these are your babies. It's it's essentially forgetting to give them milk so they're never going to grow. That's all. Sorry. <laughs> all right. So have a sense of urgency. That came back up again. Right? And so let me ask you guys a question. How many of you have ever walked into a store car dealership, clothing store, boutique, and the owner or the sales staff came up and approached you. We've all had that experience, right? What is their intention? Make sure the service is great. To yep. sell you. No and mm -hmm. sale. Thank you, Nina. To sell you something. They're not there to make friends. They want to, they need to make a sale. They want to make a sale. And so they have virtually, how, have you, how many of you have been in the presence of an urgent salesperson? How many of you have been traveling and maybe like on a cruise ship or something and you have like, a, you know, they stop at different places, let you off. And, now, and the people in those stores know they've only got you for a certain period of time. You're going to go back on that cruise ship. That's what a sense of urgency looks like. They're not trying to let you leave the store without buying anything, right? Now, I'm not saying that you need to be annoying or anything like that, but I just wanted to give you a visual from your personal experience of what a person who is about their business really looks like. And that's what you need to be. You need to be about your business. I mean, this is, you know, you get somebody that far to watch the video. Now it's, it's time for you to get, you want to get to a resolution. Like Holton taught us, what is a resolution? What are the three? What are the three things that are that are a resolution? There's only three things that are resolution. What are they? Who knows? Anybody know out there? Anybody know? All right. Here we go. Get to a resolution. Ambassador, customer, referral. Right. That's right. Then, then we're done. They either become an ambassador, they become a customer, or they give you somebody else that you can talk to. But you got to be about your business. I, I'm going to go back to you. I mean, since I've been hanging out with Jackie a little bit this week, I'm going to tell you, these ladies are about their business. They are about their business. They, they are meeting people out. And, and, and you know what? It's really interesting because, you know, I, when I just kind of sit back and I observe it, it's just, it's, it's really, it's entertaining to watch when you have a two week time limit, right? Like they know they, they came here for a week and a half to two weeks. They know that they are not here indefinitely. And so, and their goal was 
to start new group while they're here. So that means that number one, when they're out, they got to meet people. They don't have the luxury of being out just to be out. And I can tell you this, that everywhere they've been, breakfast, lunch, dinner, lounge, whatever, the they, they met people. Hey, check this out, Mark. Did you know that they have speed friending in Houston? Yes. You they knew that? About it. They talked about it when they came over at lunch. Did you know that they have speed friending in Houston before they talked, before they told us? No. We live here. <laughs> they said, how can we meet people fast? And by the way, that, that's a whole nother training, the power of asking the right questions. How can we meet people fast? Oh, speed friending. S speed, fast, friending, meeting people fast. So they went to speed friending and left there with a bunch of numbers. Right? But their whole mission is, we got two weeks, we're going to meet people, we're going to get them in. How many people did y'all sign up so far, Jackie? Um, we didn't probably sign up about four, maybe four, five, somewhere in level? there. At what level? Everybody first class. All, four first class. I'm going to tell you right now, I, that's probably more first class people that have signed up in Houston in the last couple of months, right? And, so, and you've got another meeting today, right? Yeah. How many, how many have you done? Um, we've done four, I think four, four or five. Meetings, right. Um, and, and then here's, here's the, here's the next thing. Some of you are like, oh, that's only four people. Desi will tell you it's not four people. Brandon will tell you that's not four people. Right. Those four people have four people each. <laughs> and right those now. four people each have four people each. I'm telling you right now, if I'm one of those four people, I, I don't know if you can see it. If I'm one of those four people, this is what I come to the table with. <laughs> These are the contacts in my phone. Right. I got about 4,000 of them. But the average person has at least 100 to 200. So everyone who is who enrolls in your business represents 100 to 200 people that you now have access to that you did not have access to before. So we're, here's what they did. They now have access to 400 to 800 people in the Houston marketplace that they did not have access to before and watch how that new group develops from these people that they're enrolling in the business. But that's what I call a sense of urgency. Why did, why, why did they enroll four people in less than a week already? Because they're like, we're only here for a week and a half. So maybe what you can do is pretend that you only have two weeks left in business. Like trick your mind. I've got two weeks. And after two weeks, if I don't produce results in two weeks, they're going to shut off my back office and never let me back in. Does that make sense? So, so urgency. Thanks, Desi, for bringing us back to that. Urgency is key. Now, um, another thing, Jackie, you started uh, you started talking about this concept. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a new page on this. Can I can I just answer this question in the chat? Yes. People are confused what speed friending is. That's you going out out and about. And you talk to everybody that you meet, literally. Oh, even better than that, Desi, even better. This was an organized event that they found in Meetup. Right. Okay? And so what they do is they, the, the people who organize speed friending is they say, hey, we're going we're gonna to do speed friending, right? And you come to this place and you only have a certain amount of time to talk to each person. Mm -hmm. So speed friending is like, if the five of us who are on here, right, I get to talk to Jackie and I get to talk first, Mark and Desi get to talk first, Brandon is talking to somebody else, and then we're on a timer. Right. And when the timer expires, we have to go talk to somebody else. And so you have just like that amount of time to make a connection, see if this is somebody you, you want to stay connected with and exchange numbers. Mm-hmm. How many numbers did y'all come out of speed, speed friending with? 
Oh, I have no idea. So many, so many numbers. Oh my God. It was Peter, amazing. Peter said all of them. <laughs> all of them. There, there were there were over a hundred people there. They came away from with everybody's number. <laughs> Let's see, I'll be doing that next weekend. Uh, I knew it. I was waiting for it, Brandon. I was waiting for somebody to say it. I am going to do it. I'm down. Look, Carolyn. Caroline said in the chat, she goes, it's like speed dating. Here, I'm, ga I'm game. Let's do it. Speed friending. I love it. Right. You know, it's just like Mr. Bug said, we don't have a problem with money. We have a problem being creative. If we can be creative and do things like Mr. Brandon said, speed, uh, meeting people in different kind of ways, you, you have to be creative, come up with different things. Like we talked to uh, T. Gray and uh, we, we were talking about Houston. We was like, we want to come to Houston. We want to take over Houston. So we start putting ideas in our head, what we were going to do. We're going to rent this nice Airbnb so we can have parties here as well. Um, we just start being very creative. And now because we were creative, our income is going up the roof because we became creative. And guess what? We're coming back. We got folks, they want us to come back. And they guess what? Because, I mean, you got you got people like Vita and Kia in a club trading. Yes. And what does that do? You're in the club, it's dark, right? It's dim. And you got these phones glowing with these numbers on it and they're trading. I'm, I love, I'm loving their stories. People are like, what are you doing? And, and Vita tells the person, well, while you in here spending money, I just made $200. Yep. That blue looks good and dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Sorry, uh, I've been corrected. $280. $280, right? Since, uh, 280 bucks since I've been in here. So, I mean, does that get people's attention? Yes. Right? And then and they, the music is loud, so you can't really have a full-on conversation. So they have to give you their information. They have to, you have to exchange your phone number. And they definitely want to talk to the person who made 280 bucks in the club trading while, while enjoying the music. So uh, another thing that I want to I wanna pull up is, I was, as I was listening to you guys talk, uh, Jackie brought this cop concept of mirroring and matching, right? And it also plays to the colors. While we, while we were talking, Desi, Patrick sent me his, what he's got up on his wall after getting coaching from you. Let me share it real quick. Patrick is every single day, he's enrolling a person. Right. So, I he's mean- been He's been having me on calls every single he day. Has, he has this training pinned up on his wall, essentially. Slow down and listen, invite stories, focus on the next step, ask, answer questions with questions. AQ, AQWQ. No throwing up. <laughs> no, you know, no throwing up, right? You talked about that earlier, right? Focusing on the next step. But over here, he says, green, red, yellow, blue. That's the colors, okay? So I'm gonna steer you guys in this direction. Mirror and match, Jackie, you talked about mirror and matching. Uh, you guys all know the colors, Brandon. I know you know the colors. Um, sometimes, Pete, I'm going to start the conversation this way and then turn it over to our diamonds. Sometimes we don't get the deal because we are talking to the right person, but in the wrong frequency. Mm -hmm. That's great. Way and in the wrong frequency. And we don't, we're not on the right frequency because we didn't slow down and listen and we didn't ask enough questions. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna turn it over to you guys to, to fill in this box here. And if it gets too big, we'll make it a whole nother thing. I love what he just said. I wanna say something real quick before um, I forget about it. <laughs> uh, because Mrs. Jackie said something, I can close anybody. Um, you know, as long as, you know, here's the thing before you put your upline on the call. So first of all, it's not, you know, a weird situation where, you know, how many, I mean, Julius and, and Mrs. Jack, uh, not Julius, Brendan and Mrs. Jackie, how many of you have felt weird when you jumped on a three-way call and you're just sitting over there and just, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah. 
All right. And, and they didn't even edify you or they didn't edif edify their prospect. They didn't edif you know, do the edification. You're like, so, okay, what's up? <laughs> you know? So, you know, don't do that. You know, that's the one thing for sure. You know, not Jackie, Desi, I'm not your friend. You know, this is, this is, this is different, but, uh, if, if somebody's yellow, right, you guys know yellow like to help people. So if you do talk to them about money, that is not something that will get them in the business. But you painting the picture on how this can help and impact a lot of lives because they just like to help people. Now you will get them. Right? Reds are like me and Mrs. Jackie. We're all about our, you know, cash. <laughs> cash is king right so if if somebody's red i will mirror and match their energy so i will talk to them about how fast they can get to the very top and i'm gonna give my own story right because uh tier said assertive yes because when darren said what you're doing is cute but i can show you how to do them that monthly I was like, let's go. I didn't care what I needed to do. I was going to do it regardless. I didn't care if I had to go out there. And, and I really didn't care. Green are people like, <laughs> there's a lot of people. But, you know, uh, Island is on the line. You know, they like numbers. You know, I have a lot of greens on my, on my team, which is great. You, you want to have all color personalities in your team. Right. That, that's, that's something that you want to do. Uh, you know, they want numbers. They want to. I was I was analytical in the beginning as well uh, because of, you know, my background in traditional traditional business. You know, so I needed to know numbers. But, um, um, you know, that's just I guess that's the way I program myself over the course of how many years. Um, but but um, yes, that is true. They're results oriented. Um, but they want details and they want to, when you know how to sell a green, they're going to be in for life. All they want to know is just the ins and outs and they're going to be in the, the blue people. You want to show them the lifestyle. You want to talk about the yacht parties, right? You want to talk about the mansion parties. You want to talk about the CEO dinners. You know, you want to talk about the, the you know, Mrs. Jackie's, um, um, you know, inner circle meetings, you know, because they, you know, if y'all have been on Mrs. Jackie's stories and you've seen that new kitchen, I still haven't gotten my invitation. <laughs> I'm like, what? Did I miss the, did I miss the memo? No, I'm just kidding, Mrs. Jackie. Uh, but, you know, you know, you want to be a part, they want to be a part of the environment, of the fun. They would, they just want to have fun. So you want to show them how this can essentially create the lifestyle, right? And and I'll um, pass it over to you guys. Yep, that's perfect. Um, the colors, that is just so perfect. You got to meet them again where they are. If they read, you got to talk about the money. You got to give them examples of Nina, who is 37 years old, single parent, you know, has changed her completely life, never have to work again or anybody else. You know, you want to talk about the reds. You want to talk about the Rod Smith, you know, how uh, he's made more money here than in the NFL, you know, just by, you know, doing the trade. So you want to talk about the money. And when they're green, you want to give them all types of facts, right? You want to sell them the story on um, how we've been featured in the home magazines, you know, different things like that. You want to hit them uh, with the facts of the business. You got to know your facts and you can hit, you, you have to hit them with that. Like Desi said, I can close anybody. No matter what color you are, I'm, I'm going to hit you you know, where it is, the pain, um, like Mr. Uh, Burrell said, uh, I'm going to hit you there. And also uh, the yellow. Yeah, the yellow, giving back. We, that's our boom foundation. I mean, that's, that's an easy one. You know, how we're helping the children, feeding the children, you know, so you have to hit them there. And then the blue, oh my God, fun, you know. Hey, I can have fun too with the best of them. And like Mr. T. Gray said, 
you know, I was um, at an event here and I was talking about what we could do. Oh, we can have this nice party while we're here. And they was like, you are, you are blue, aren't you? You're blue. Heck no, I'm not a blue. I know how to be a blue so I can be, so I can get to the money. You know, I'm going to get to the money by being a blue. I know how to have fun. I know how to do it all, you know, just to um, close my prospect. I hit them, you know, where they are. So you got to know people. And usually you guys, when I walk up on people, I can tell immediately without speaking to them, I can say, Vita and Kia, they'll tell you, that's a red, that's a green, that's a blue. They haven't said one word to me, but so, I can just, by their personality, by the way they walk, or, or the or way, way they move, I just now, know. Jack, they Jack, are. A, lot of, a lot of people are meeting people on social media. So one of the questions is, how do you know their color when they're cold market? And it's the beginning of the conversation. That's great. Right. Talk, by talking to them. By talking to them, asking questions. Asking questions. And listening. I can to have them. a right? 30 second conversation with you and I'll know what color you are. Right. Exactly. And on social media, look at their page. Asking yeah. questions and also listen. <laughs> right. Look at their social media page. It tells everything. Yeah. yeah. If you're publicly in cold market on social media, look at their page. It will tell you, it'll tell you what they're about. Right. And, and, and so what I love what Jackie was saying, because she said, talk, basically she said, talk to people in their language, meet them where they are, right? You can tell the same story, the exact same story, four different ways. Okay. You want us to show you? All right. Let's tell, we're going to use, uh, we're going to use uh, Nika Carter's story. Okay. Here are the basic facts of her story. Basic facts of her story is, and, and I'm, again, I'm going to preface this with the disclaimer. We're going to talk about money. This is not a guarantee what I'm going to say, but these are just the facts of Nika's story, okay? Um, and how she turned basically $400 and change into hundreds of thousands of dollars in a few month uh, period of time, okay? All right. How would you tell that story, real, real short now, how would you tell that story to a red? Real simple. She's 37 years old. She never has to work again in her life because of the decision she made to get started with us. And there you go, right? And you would say, in just a few months time, she went from starting an account with 400 bucks and turned it into a few hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah. Okay. How would you tell that story? Who, what's the next color you guys want to hear? I'm, instead of me doing it, you tell me. So that was red. What's the next one you want to hear? Blue. Okay. How would you tell Nika's story to a blue? And, and not just Jackie, anybody who, who knows her story. Brandon, you can do it. Desi, you can do it. Jackie, you can do it. We can hear it from more than one person. But they, you know, um, you know, this girl, you know, she started the company, you know, she started $400 in an account and now she's she's making up almost $7,000 a day and she's living a life. She's enjoying her life. She, you know, she, she has freedom. She's able to do whatever she wants to do. Now she's traveling the world. She's doing, you know, she, she, she's living her best life. And, you can you have and, and, and by the way, that is the blue, per, the blue people's banner, living my best life. If you're exactly. talking to anybody blue, make sure you find a way to say that. Live, she living her best life. <laughs> and so one, and one of the other things I will add to that, because she's 37 and she's a single parent. Oh my gosh, she's shown her three-year-old the world that she has so much fun with her daughter. It's just amazing. There you go. There you go. Boom. All right, so what was the next call? That was blue. Are you guys listening to the differences? It's the same story, right? But I'm gonna tell you right now, by this time, if you're telling the story like this to a red, by this time, we are zoning out. We are zoning out. I, I mean, real life example, took my wife to dinner last night. Our server, incredible young guy. He's just a great personality, very knowledgeable. But unfortunately, he's truly a foodie. 
He was really a foodie. So he was selling this appetizer, this Korean kimchi crab cake, and so much freaking detail and with all this passion. And he's going on and on about how the chef is so inspired and how he traveled the world and he's not afraid to use these spices. And I'm sitting there looking at him like, enough already. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to order the meatball. <laughs> I don't want, I, and I, my wife ordered it. I think she ordered it to stop him. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, if you didn't say you wanted it, I was about to tell him, okay, what, what else you got, bro? We're good. Right. So if you would have told the Nika story like that to a red, we are now about to pass out. We're losing oxygen. We, you, you had us at, she turned 400 bucks into hundreds of thousands of dollars in a few months. Now we want to know, okay, how the heck does she do that? Okay. The blues need to, that you got to connect the dots for them and talk about how she's traveling the world and showing her daughter the whole world and living her best life and all that kind of stuff. That's great. But how do you tell Nika's story to the yellow? Oh my God. So Nika, oh my God. She took her daughter to Disney World and she took about five kids with them. Oh my God. They didn't have to pay anything. Oh, their parents were so excited because their parents couldn't afford it. And Nika was able to take every last one of those kids to Disney World. They are so excited. She has changed their life completely. Wow. I got, Mark, I got chills. <laughs> Freaking chills. Yeah. And, and then also you could say, and she donated to the Boom Foundation. Right. And, and, and she's able to give generously to the Boom Foundation that, you know, helps feed undernourished children and uh, prevent human trafficking of children. But but you, did you did you see that? Like Tracy pulling it is like wow. Like us, this is truly a wow, right? Like you you just took M Monster Trader Nika and made her Mother Teresa, right? I mean, but that's powerful because yellows need to hear that because they're looking for a way that they can have a greater impact, that they can touch more people, that they can give back. That's powerful. Okay, well here we go. There's only one left. How do we tell Nika's story? Mind you, we've told the same story now, three times, three different ways. How do we tell Nika's story to a green? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Let me tell you about this uh, lady that I just met. I mean, I've, I've seen her multiple times, but I had, um, um, you know, um, I had the pleasure to speak with her in Orlando. And actually I got to interview her. Um, so, you know, it, it's going to be amazing if you hear from her, but I want to share a little bit about who she is and what she's done in a very short period of time. And she's someone that you want to definitely listen close to because you can probably surpass her results, C. Gray, if you did exactly what she's about to share with you when I put you on a three-way call with her. But she used to work, um, um, I believe, in the loans. Is that what she was doing, Mrs. Jackie? Help your sister out. Okay. Right? <laughs> Vita. Vita's like, yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So she used to work, you know, give loans to people. And, and she decided that she doesn't want to go back to work because she has a daughter. Thanks. Okay. Um, excuse me, Nika. <laughs> Nika's like, <laughs> you have heard yeah. Already, right. There's going to be more in a minute. There's going to be more in a minute. But already, already, there, Desi's tone changed immediately. Sure did. Y'all hear that? Her tone. Yeah. Like normally, Desi talks. She's she's excited. She's vibrating up here. But be, just even subconsciously, because she knows she's talking to a to a green. She got she she almost came came down to teacher talk. She came down to, um, uh, you know, very, very flat talk because greens discount all that excitement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't care. But they don't care about that. And it actually invalidates the story. They, they want to know, give me the facts. Give me the facts. And then you I, start I don't want, I don't want to hear any, you know, bluff, like, give me the facts. What I is it? She said, I spoke with her in Orlando 
The details matter to the Greens, right? It, it, she accomplished these results in a very short period of time. She used to work in loans or banks or whatever. The details, you guys get it? Okay, so continue. If, if you need to recruit help on the details of the story, but what we're doing now is we're telling Nika's story to Greens. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, and by the way, you know, I believe her account was at $437 in December of last year. And you wouldn't believe me if I told you this because I didn't either, but I, you know, I've seen it. Mm. I believe she's now way, you know, not to look, not to say a big word, but she's probably close to, you know, three to four hundred thousand dollars. And 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 let me tell you this. I asked her how long did it take you to make this amount of money? All right. She she doesn't even trade every single day. She trades a few times a week and she said that she invests only one hour a day. Is that something that you think you can do? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's good. So one of the things I would say. Uh, so I got this single young lady. She's 37. She has she has one daughter and um, she learned the art of trading. Nika didn't know much about trading, but what Nika did was she took a lot of time to understand what trading was and how to actually get in the market and make certain moves. And what she did, I remember her telling me that she was on the bathroom floor and she studied and she studied and she studied and she didn't come out until she got all the information about trading. And now she can trade with her eyes closed. Wow. And you know, greens need this. Mm -hmm. Now, if you tell a story like this to a blue, you will literally watch someone's head explode. Right? If you tell a story like this to a red, you will literally watch someone's head explode. And you got to be careful with these numbers with yellows because yellows sometimes feel guilty about money. And so those big numbers can, can mess them up. It's, it's more important to tell a yellow that Nika took five other five children that weren't hers to Disney World than to tell them that she grew her account to almost 400,000. And red, greens need this. Greens need all of this. Reds need 20% of this. The red version of this story is, hey, listen, Nika, took an account from $437 to almost $400,000 in about nine months. What? Okay, how do we do this? That's red. <laughs> That's red. All these other details, the more, now when you start piling on details, you're gonna lose them, okay? So we're, this, this conversation is about how to close people, but if you learn, if you take the time to learn a person's story, Right. You take a time to, to learn a person who they are, learn their story. Uh, you saw on Patrick's board, he's the, the, the what was that? Um, I forgot the acronym now. What was it? I mean, let's go back to his board. It's still up on my screen here. Correct. Was it occupation? Was it Ford? I forgot what the acronym means. Desi, help me. Did y'all teach that in your, your team, the Ford method Please. or something? Mm. Friends, occupation. Family. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Family, occupation, occupation recreation, uh, message. Four. That's what was telling me. I has Ford on his. Yeah. Ford, <laughs> dream. There you go. Okay. Oh, dream, dream, dream. Okay. I see. Because I thought Ford stand, st stood for... Fix or repair daily. Um, Can I, uh, somebody asked a question in the chat. How do you know people's stories? And I, I'm just going to be honest with you. How do you learn people's stories? That tells me you haven't been on corporate calls. That tells me you haven't jumped on your leaders calls. Because 
each and every call we do. I don't care if it's a team call or opportunity call. I mean, you know, the even today, how many stories do we share? Right. That tells me you're not joining uh, flight school events, you know, all of these things, because each and every call I can guarantee you there's not even one call that there's not a story that was shared. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm plugged in. And, and watch videos. Go on, go on iBoom Hub or go on the the Elevate and iBoom Rain YouTube channel and watch the videos. Listen to the interviews. Right. And profit snatchers. Profit, profit snatchers. snatchers. These are these are Alexandra's notes. Rank up. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Alexandra put these in the uh in the chat. I thought it was good. So I'm just gonna stick it on here and you guys can screenshot this. But this is a real workshop here on how to close, how to close. Um, Anna, Chief Anna wants us to share with you that there are um, links that have been posted in the Facebook and Zoom chat uh, where you can find books on the colors on Amazon and Audible. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to share with you something that Holton told me. And, he, and I, I know that he told me this in 2004 and I will never forget it. You ready? He said, if you want to be good at this business, become an expert in people. And how do you become an expert, T. Gray? You talk to one person, you got to talk to a lot of talk people. To a lot of people. There yeah. you go. And, and, and frankly, not only do you need to talk to a lot of people, you need to listen a lot more than you talk. I'm going to tell you right now, Desi, I did more three-way calls than anybody. Because in the beginning, my whole objective mm -hmm. wasn't to hear myself. My whole objective was to hear Holton. Say less to more people, said to hear. I, my, my whole game was how fast can I get a person on the phone with Holton? Right. How, how, how can I get them to meet his criteria for talking to a person? He wouldn't talk to anybody who hadn't seen the presentation. You know, I want to say something since you shared this. Go ahead. We're not with you guys in the beginning, uh, you know, uh, when I started with Darren. But uh, in, in, in my area, like the, the, the whatever, this area, I became top five in that company not by putting people on calls, by putting people in front of Darren. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a month where I recruited over 60 people. Uh, you know, I hit the whatever rank over there, right? So I, I surpassed a lot of people just because I utilized my upline. I had Darren, you know, he said it even the other day on the call that he was annoyed by me because another one, <laughs> you know, he was even be like, you know, because what I used to do um, is I would screen, uh, screenshot my calendar and send it over to him so he knows how many calls I have and how many times I will need him to be on the call because we didn't have opportunity calls. There was two calls a week. Darren was doing one call, which was Whiteboard Wednesday on, on, on Wednesday at four o'clock. And we had a webinar, um, team webinar on Saturday. So I had no calls to plug my prospect into. So I, all I did is I was closing them after I was putting them in front of Darren. Uh, so, you know, if you guys want to be good at numbers, like I was, I would, I think the minimum that I put my, uh, you know, Darren in front of was eight people a day. I've put Darren on probably 16 calls a day. So you make the math times seven, how many calls a week Darren was doing for me. So that's what I had to share since T. Gray shared that. That's amazing, right. Desi. I That's think it is Desi. Was he yeah. very No. Okay, so the issue is you were putting like eight people at least a day in front of him. Most people are not doing the work. And so, that's why a lot of people are not getting the results. It's because you're not doing the work. Some people, they sign up one person. Oh my God, they done for the year. <laughs> they done for the year. That one person going to free them. No, you got to do it over and over and over and over. And, and this over. is Jackie. Like, I was just so hungry. Like, I didn't care what it was. What I, what was I doing? Darren said, 
two, can you put me on calls with two people? He didn't tell, he'll put me on calls with 20 people. So like, okay, okay. So I'll do whatever because I wanted, I was sick and tired of my own results. So I was willing to do whatever he told me to do. And I was willing to do that even if I did not see results for one year. That, that is the commitment that I gave myself. I was going to do it regardless for one year. And I could always go back to what was I you know, doing in the first place. But I can guarantee you guys, if you guys are following your diamond or whoever is working with you and you do exactly as you are told, you don't need to know all of this. You will learn this as you go, as you are growing through the process. I didn't know anything about red, blue, yellow, green. Had no clue what, you know, I had no clue what this was all about. But I, I learned as I was running and sprinting, you know. I, I've not, I'm going to be honest with you. There is a book. I have the book. I have never even read the book. I'm serious. Never read the book. Some of you are going to buy the book and you think you're going to get results. Gotcha. Exactly. No. Get to work. <laughs> Here's another key to this business, the art of closing and opening. Mm -hmm. Remember, you're a product of your environment. Mm -hmm. If you're not in this environment, if you're not plugged in, don't try to close nobody. Don't try to share the business with nobody. It we know when you're plugged in and when we know you're not. We know those and, and your prospect can tell as well. So you got to keep plugging into the source. You got to stay around the positive people. You got to stay away from the negative people because it's going to rub off in your business every single time, every single time. One thing I would say is uh, be confident in what we have here. You know, uh, I think that's a big thing. Most people are not confident and uh, they don't know what we have here that really, some, we have something really special that can really, really impact people in a big way. So you, you need to be confident of that. And even if you haven't had the results yet, I think you know, that's where the, you know, knowing other people's stories come in place. But, um, you know, once you're confident in what we have here, I don't think you have any problems. So yes to that, but I also disagree a little bit um, so I would say be confident in your upline. Right. Um, because you know, we know how it, you know, Mr. Mr. Bugs and Darren said it in Orlando, this business is all psychological. And in order for you to become confident, allow your leader to do what they're great at, what they're best at. And 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 our job is to help you become successful, but if there's no people, there's nothing that we can do. Yeah, I, powerful. I mean, when I was listening to you talk, when I got up, I went to go see if I could find my first journal and I it's in my office now. I remember it, I had taken it to work. Mark and I were looking at it. Um, but I wanted to to find that, bring that journal out because in that journal are notes from so many three-way calls, right? And, and I, you guys have made me realize what made me good at closing is that I learned from a really good closer. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was not naturally a good closer. I, I, I learned it. Right. My corporate career, I learned it from Rich Gotham. And in my networking career, I learned it from Holton Bugs. And you want to leverage, if you're not good at it, Leverage your upline, put your upline to work, wear them out, Be, make, get to the point where they're annoyed by you. Like Darren was annoyed by this, where you, you just keep calling them with three-way calls. And I remember being annoyed by people. I remember building a team in the Caribbean and getting to the Bahamas and having one guy wear me out all day. Like I told him, I'm like, hey, I'm not coming here to work. I mean, I'm not, sorry, I'm not coming there to play. I've been in the Bahamas a million times. I've seen the beach. We are, I'm here there to work. My day starts at 9.30. I want to have a different meeting every, uh, give me an hour and a half, another meeting. And I want you to put as many people in each of those meetings. He rented a room. He got me there at 9.30. And every hour and a half on, so at 9.30, we started. At 11 o'clock, at 9.30, there was a group of people there waiting for me. 
At 11 o'clock, another group was coming in. At 12.30, another group was coming in. And we did that every hour and a half. And then at 7 p.m., we did a business meeting. And those people were inviting to the business meeting from the people that I met with during the day. And they forgot to freaking feed me. <laughs> and I was mad at them. I'm like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna do this at, and, and not feed a brother? Right. And this is what he said. And this is a direct quote. He said, You said work you to death, man. Me working you to death, man. Don't, you created this monster, Dr. Frankenstein. Don't be mad at your monster. Be mad at your damn self. Ah, <laughs> uh, he said the right thing. <laughs> and I was in, I that was supposed to be a four day trip, and I stayed 11 days because he understood the value the assignments me on site and he would not let me go we built a whole team a whole country in 11 days and so desi to your point when holton said he would do my three-way calls oh we did a lot we we did three-way call after three-way call and when he did three-way calls i took notes and i learned from him and that's how I became a good closer. I want to say something because you just said something and people probably didn't. There's a lot of times where you will put me on a three-way call and you're just smiling over there. Or maybe here's the thing, what you don't want to do because it's very disrespectful. And if you do it, I can guarantee you that your diamond or your leader won't do any more three-way calls with you. The moment you bring your three, you know, your upline, your whoever, whoever it is that's even if it's not your upline, if it, even if it's somebody that's just sharing their story, you zip it, you mute your line and you don't interrupt them. Okay. <laughs> Nora says zip it, right? You zip it. Second thing T. Gray said, take notes. That is very true. I had my phone right next to my computer and it was recording. And because sometimes Darren will speak too much. I mean, not too much. I'm sorry, too fast you know, depending on who he was talking to, right? So I was paying attention, observing to what he was doing. So I learned by doing the work, not by joining calls like this. I'm, I'm telling you guys, we didn't have trainings like this. The training was me getting to work. That was the only training, you know, and I was observing what he was saying, why he was saying it, what questions he was asking, what answers he was getting. And I will write it down. And next time when I jumped on a call, I acted like Darren. It felt awkward. <laughs> okay. The first one, two, three. But remember, I said, I want to be like you. So in order for you to, for me to become it, I needed to start acting as if. So I had my notes in front of me. And I... I said exactly what I, he said, the, the previous call, right? So I became there. I, you know, he, there's a good quote. He says, faith it till you make it, right? Not fake, faith. So I immediately, like I've, there was, there was time Tigre where I was sharing their story like it was mine and it essentially became my story. Mm -hmm. I didn't have it. <laughs> right. I had two people on my team. But the way I sounded and I acted like I had 2,000. Right. But those so two people gonna... were Alte and uh, Cassandra. See, she's no longer here, but Alte is my very first guy that I enrolled in my business. <laughs> there you go. So here we go. We're going to wrap this up. I'm going to put these numbers back up here. This was really, Mary, exactly. I agree with you. She's like, this training is on fire. Flight school has taken a new turn. It's evolved, right? This is what we're doing now. So here's, here's where we're at. Here's where we're at. Our goal, impact these numbers, right? We're gonna, flight school's gonna be like this where it's, it's we're just gonna grit it out. We're gonna just come on and we're gonna just share the, the real stuff, okay? And now here's what you gotta do. Like, like Desi said, it's, it's not from being on the call. You gotta now go do this, all right? So take this, apply it this week. Who's going to apply it? Who's going to go out there and do a little bit more, but leverage their three-way calls, Take apply some of what you learned here? Who's going to do it? Great, great, okay? 
We're going to keep watching the numbers. That's what's beautiful about this. We don't have to take your word for it because if you really do it, these numbers are going to change, right? So we're going to keep watching the numbers and we're going to come back next week and we're going to do like this again. And we're going to identify. And if we need to talk about the same topic, we'll get three different diamonds on. And we're going we're gonna to keep hammering this until this group of people, this is not the whole company. This is just the 300 or so of you that say, hey, you know what? I care more than everybody else. Okay. Now use your rank up. Everybody use your rank up. Make sure you're creating cards. Make sure you're moving the cards over and make sure your new people are getting rank up so that we can, we can get some really good numbers here and let's amaze each other. Let's amaze each other. Okay. All right. Um, Greg, what we're doing as a team. So I ran a contest with this rank up. So yeah. last week, the, the board is going to tell you everything. I don't have to do anything. So the board tells you everything. Who's who's leading. And so what I did last Sunday, I called out, you know, what the board said, the leadership board. Man, I had some names on there I've never seen before, right? So, I, um, so I'm going to make another announcement on tomorrow. Who's leading? Well, since I made that announcement last week, I got some new folks. Wow. They said, oh, no, I'm not going down like this. So we got some new folks on there uh, for tomorrow. So it's going to be real, really exciting. So it goes all the way to the end of, of September. And there's money on the line for it. So it's exciting. And they're, they're so super excited about that. Hey, Jackie. We want to, um, the corporate team, we want to thank you and Jayla and Vita and Kia uh, for coming by the office and buying us lunch. We appreciate yeah. that very much. That was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that was good. That was good. And this is also a shameless plug for anybody who wants to come by the office. You <laughs> <laughs> we welcome you with open arms. As long as you have these two things. Number one, your upline diamond. Oh, yes. Right, because we only we only do we only do office visits for diamonds and above. And they can they can bring their team members. They have to be scheduled in advance. Don't just show up. And the second thing you need is food. Yes. Just don't show bring up. cookies if it's not Friday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got to coordinate the food. We got to coordinate food. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that said, though, we really appreciated having you guys yeah. come visit us uh, and bringing us that that burst of positive energy that day and and the food t great yeah. somebody yeah. said what are you doing in case without an upline you become it you become mrs. the jackie yeah. mrs jackie has shared her story plenty of times uh you know uh so you become it yeah and 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 that's what this is mm -hmm. that is the company being your upline if you don't have an upline you better not ever miss flights <laughs> Because that's, that's us being your upline. And, and the reason why we even do flight school is because when we were the upline, this is what we did. I used to do when I was building flight school, my, my team training wasn't called flight school at the time, was Sunday nights at eight o'clock. So, I mean, and I'm sure all these diamonds, they have that for their team. So uh, for whoever's asking that question, uh, we are collectively your upline. Make sure you're plugged in. Make sure you learn. Go apply it, and you will become the upline to the people who follow you. Mm -hmm. And I want y'all to wear T. Gray out for your three ways. Wear him out. <laughs> oh. This is why we need to have a time delay so that we can. Like that up. Don't, don't do not use T. Gray for your three ways. <laughs> oh my God, Jackie. <laughs> See, she uh, had all these points and she just gave them all back. Okay. <laughs> uh, use Jackie for all your three ways. Exactly. <laughs> all right, beautiful people. We love you guys. Let's do our picture and yeah. uh, we're going to wrap you this up. You know what? I just want to say one more thing. One more Listen. thing. If you can't do this on your own, go to your upline. Go to your upline. Schedule calls with your upline. Okay, that's it. All right, well, it's time for our picture. Let's take our picture. And then uh, Mark, you got us teed up for the exit. I do, you know. I do. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, what? What? I got what something. Oh, we got something, we got something.
the prizes. Oh. What? It's going down for real. <laughs> top recruiter, iPhone 15, top customer getter. This is a projector. Nice. And it's projector. super small. And you can bring it with you on the road, Jackie. <laughs> your presentations. Yes. And then most prospects attended. So it's a webcam setup. So you can present. Yes, absolutely. All right. That's Mark, it. What's it, what is the date range for the challenge? Yeah. So it's the end of this month. When did it start? Started mid-month last month. Okay. So it started from when we launched. Yes. August 19. Yeah. To now. Yes. No, no, no. Okay. Through the end of the month. Right. Through the end of the month. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's top recruiter. I'm Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> top recruiter. Uh, you want to hear your screen? Career. Yeah, well, I went, I got oh I, I was trying to read top recruiter, top customer getter. What was the other one? Ah, all right. Most people exposed. Yeah, most people exposed. Oh, most prospects attended. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right. So here we go. Uh, right now, as it stands, as it stands, top recruiter. Is Lacey Tabosa with nine? Lacey. By, oh, and you know what? By, She's also by. the top customer yeah, again. I'm right there, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. All right. So, top recruiter so right now is Lacey. It's coming in second is Martine in Bulgaria. Coming in third right now is Ashley, Nadia. Alte, Rich Duglin, Alexander Bosby, Julius Burrell, Marianne Schutz. Okay. Some of you guys may have better numbers than this, but you're not using your rank up. No rank up, no win. Okay. Okay. So no rank up, no win. This, you, you, some of you guys have people on your team who may have recruited more than 10 people this month already, but they're not using rank up. No rank up, no win. No rank up, no win. All right. As Mark was aptly saying, Lacey is also winning in the customer acquisition category. <laughs> 19. Wow. Followed closely by. Ashley. Ashley. Then Amelie. Then Martine. Then Jason. Then Julius. Then Stephen Fryer. Then Alexander. Then Marianne. Then Nadia. Okay. So this is anybody's game. We still have half of the month left. Amelie, I'm going to tell you right now, you got enough activity. Now we got to get that closing down, that closing at the end, right? Getting them to be ambassadors, getting them to be customers. That's what's going to get you in the game. Ashley, you got that live coaching session. What are we going to do, Ashley? Let's give, let's give Lacey a run for her money. All right. What was the other category, Mark? Exposure. Uh, top, top exposures. Ooh, look who's top of the charts here. Ashley. Ashley. Ashley on Team Fraser Grant. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So Ashley with 62, followed by, and then the diamonds are like trying to chase Ashley down. You got Diamond Vasile right behind her with 56. Marianne Diamond with 53. Lacey is saying she's trying to win this game too. She's got 48. Yeah. Alexander. <laughs> He's all over it. Lacey's everywhere. And by yeah. the way, talk about somebody maximizing the uh, the profile photo. Way to go, Lacey. Alexander, Martine, Ava. Look at that. Black Diamond Desi's right up in here. Julius and Nika. Wow. Diamond, Julius, and Nika. So you uh, can't let Lacey win all of these. You guys can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Let's make it interesting, folks. So Yes, attended is exposed. That's that attended is which column is that on the uh, on the deal? Attended is this column here. 
present guest video viewed. That's where it's coming from. Okay. All right. So it's really about these three columns. You got them there. You expose them. Right. Let me just pinch and zoom. You exposed them. They joined or they became a customer. Expose them, join, customer. That's what it's about. And you can win those prizes. Mark, put the prizes up again. Yes. Awesome. Y'all did good coming up with these prizes. Yeah. iPhone 15. It was all Mandy. Way to go, this is man. what she wants. <laughs> Yeah, it just came off. These, came, these all came off of Aunt Mandy's personal wish list of items. <laughs> all right. So there we go. Who's going to win? That's it, folks. We're going to do our um, screenshot picture. You diamonds rocked the house today. We appreciate you so much. This was one of the best trainings ever. Um, and the numbers actually went up during the call. People were on this call hitting people up saying, you, you better get on here. So how do we say thank you, everybody? We show thank you. Let's go out this week. Let's use this information. Let's put it to work and impact the numbers. Ready for the picture? Three, two, one. You guys are a bunch of posers. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>